iPod First Generation 2001 The very first iPod was released on October 2001, weighing 6.5 ounces. The iPod wasn't the first MP3 player by any stretch, but it was the first one to really get things right. Plenty of companies took a swing at the space before Apple's arrival, but the results were varying degrees of clunky, confusing and inconvenient, and things were often even worse on the software side. The first iPod had a scroll wheel that physically moved when navigating through song lists. It was an elegant piece of hardware with 5 gigabytes of storage that carried the jaw-dropping promise of 1,000 songs in your pocket. The play, next, and menu buttons were placed in a circle around the wheel. A revision was released in 2002 that offered more memory space. iPod Second Generation 2002 Released in July 2002, the second version looked like its predecessor but featured a touch-sensitive wheel instead of a moving scroll wheel, which would be the standard going forward. The controls for this model are similar to the iPod scroll wheel of previous years, but the touch wheel area cannot be rotated, and with more internal storage starting at 10 gigabytes. iPod 3rd Generation 2003 Next came the iPod 3rd generation, released in April 2003. This version marks the first full redesign of the device. Besides weighing less, Apple also added new software, including games and an alarm clock. It added a new feature that allows you to connect to other devices via the dock. It also replaced the traditional click wheel and all four control buttons. The play, next, and menu buttons were moved above the wheel and below the screen. Capacity starts from 10 to 40 gigabytes iPod Mini 2004 Released in January 2004, the Mini was the smallest MP3 player on the market at the time. It was also the first iPod to use the click wheel, a combination of the function buttons and the touch wheel. It's smaller for more convenient portability. The small version has a maximum capacity of only 4 gigabytes. Another first for Apple, the device came in five colors, silver, pink, green, blue, and gold. iPod 4th Generation 2004 the fourth generation iPod came in July 2004. The major differences between this version and the third generation are the adoption of the click wheel from the iPod and improved battery life. The models have the same click wheel as the iPod mini, but larger, and the hold switch is at the top right. The storage capacity is 20 to 40 gigabytes. iPod Photo 2004 Released in October 2004, Apple introduced the color screen with the iPod Photo, letting users upload photos and music cover art onto the device. Users willing to shell out $500 plus could use the 220 by 176 screens to look at the album art and personal photos on the player, a seemingly reasonable solution in those dark days before the first iPhone. It has a color display and the same controls as an iPod click wheel which is great for viewing album images and playing slideshows. Device capacity is 30 to 60 gigabytes. Special U2 Edition iPod 2004 In what was surely a marketing coup for U2, Apple released its first and last brand-specific special edition in October 2004. What made it special was its black plastic exterior and red click wheel. Plus, it had engraved signatures of the band members on the back. iPod Shuffle 2005 in January 2005, iPod Shuffle was introduced. Starting at just $99, Apple gave consumers a low-cost alternative to the more sophisticated models. It's smaller than the iPod Mini and doesn't have a display. There are LED indicator lights on the front and back. The drive's capacity is etched on the front USB connector and is available in 512 megabytes and 1 gigabyte. The Shuffle is the first iPod to ditch a spinning hard drive for flash memory, making it much more compact and less prone to skipping while working out. The first Shuffle was long and lean and could be worn on a lanyard around the neck since it was smaller and lighter than a pack of gum. At $99, it was also far and away from the cheapest iPod, thanks in no small part to the fact that Apple ditched the screen in favor of random music playback. iPod Nano 2005 Released in September 2005, the iPod Nano was designed to replace the iPod Mini. The Nano was the smallest MP3 player on the market when released and it was sold in two colors, white and black. It's smaller than the iPod Mini and features a color display combined with a click wheel and flash memory instead of a hard drive, which can transfer both music and pictures with a USB cable. The capacity of the drive is 1 to 4 gigabytes. A second generation was released a year later with an aluminum casing that came in five different colors iPod 5th Generation 2005 
In October 2005, Apple introduced the iPod 5th generation. Apple's first move into the portable video market came with this device. The larger screen offered a higher resolution for viewing videos. It's an iPod with a large, widescreen color display that retains the click wheel design and is capable of displaying photos and videos. In addition, it's been modified to use USB to sync various data. Sold in black or white, this version was significantly thinner than the last iPod model iPod Shuffle, second generation, 2006. In September 2006, Apple shrunk the size of the original Shuffle and the price, which started at $79. It has been resized to significantly smaller than the first generation iPod Shuffle and without a USB connector, but has a capacity of one to two gigabytes. In early 2007, the model became available in four colors other than the original silver. iPod Nano, second generation, 2006. Still in 2006, Apple resized the original iPod Nano to a smaller and more special model. This is the first in a new color, iPod Nano Product Red Special Edition, with $10 from each sale going directly to the Global Fund to fight AIDS in Africa. Which iPod model was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. iPod Classic 2007 Released in September 2007, the sixth generation of iPod, known as the Classic, came in silver and black and ended the white-colored era. After more than five models, the product was renamed iPod Classic, using 80 gigabytes of hard drive storage, a larger color display, and retaining the classic click wheel. It has an anodized aluminum rim and a brushed stainless steel body. iPod Nano 3rd Generation 2007 Released along with the iPod Classic is the iPod Nano 3G, a shorter and wider update of the Nano. This version can play video on a wider screen. It was redesigned to make the device smaller and add a wider display. The storage capacity of the device is 4 to 8 gigabytes. iPod Touch 2007 The iPod Touch was released in September 2007. Similar to the iPhone, the Touch is the first iPod to have a multi-touch screen and Wi-Fi capabilities. The iPod Touch looks like an iPhone and comes with a 3.5-inch multi-touch display with a built-in capacity of 8 to 32 gigabytes. It can browse the web with Safari and watch videos on YouTube and can buy music from iTunes. iPod Nano 4th Generation 2008 the fourth generation is the thinnest ever, has a curved shape, comes in nine different colors, and shuffles songs when users shake it. It was released on September 9, 2008. It has been redesigned from the original to look like a tall screen, a smooth curved surface, with a motion detection feature used by the shake to switch feature. It has a storage capacity of 8 to 16 gigabytes. iPod Touch, second generation, 2008. This update to the original version includes a thinner body, curved design, volume controls, and a built-in speaker. The machine looks the same in all aspects, aside from an oval antenna cover in the upper left corner of the back of the machine. iPod Nano 5th Generation 2009 The designs remain the same, but the display has been resized to a larger display with an anodized brush aluminum finish and an integrated camera and microphone on the back of the device. It has a storage capacity of 8 to 16 gigabytes iPod Shuffle, third generation, 2009. After being away for two years, a new Shuffle model was released by revamping the whole design. This model also has a headphone port, which will connect to the USB port of the computer as well. There's one indicator light, available in all five colors, with a storage capacity of two to four gigabytes. iPod Touch, fourth generation, 2010. The fourth generation iPod Touch was slightly redesigned and looks more similar to the iPhone. It added an iSight camera and a FaceTime HD camera. It was upgraded internally to match that of the iPhone 3GS and storage was pushed to 64 gigabytes. iPod Nano, sixth generation, 2010. Launched in 2010, the sixth generation iPod Nano had a big change in design and a smaller size that transforms into a watch. Available in two capacities, 8GB and 16GB, with a choice of six colors, it boasts a battery life of 24 hours. iPod Shuffle, fourth generation, 2010. Still in 2010, this shuffle model was redesigned like the iPod Nano sixth generation, but with no display. It's available in five colors. The device capacity is only two gigabytes. iPod Nano, seventh generation, 2012. Introduced in 2012, the iPod Nano's seventh generation came with another design change. It comes with a small body with a full screen, supports multi-touch, available in eight colors with a capacity of 16 gigabytes. iPod Touch, fifth generation, 2012. 
The fifth generation of iPod's Touchline arrived in October 2012 with five color options and the iSight and FaceTime HD cameras. It was available with 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of storage. iPod Touch, sixth generation, 2015. The sixth generation Touch came with up to 128 gigabytes in five new colors starting in the summer of 2015 iPod Touch 7th Generation 2019 The most recent iPod available is the 7th Generation Touch, which came out in May of 2019, maxing out at a whopping 256 gigabytes and sporting an 8 megapixel camera plus the FaceTime HD camera. It has everything you'd want in a non-phone mobile device. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to visit Evolution Zone and watch our other videos.